Ah, oh, damn. He smacked it on the drop. Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse, Southern Reels Fishing, back out in some local waters today. I'm hanging out with my good buddy Reed over here once again, Seven Cities. Uh, doing some trout fishing in the end of January, which is unbelievable. This season has been very kind to us so far, and I'm really hoping that uh, it doesn't hit a big freeze. And honestly, I don't think it's going to, because they're already calling down our way for spring to come like three weeks earlier than normal this year, so that's awesome. We're up in a nice little cove here doing some trout fishing, and today I'm gonna be trying swim baits. This here is actually a Berkeley power bait, freshwater battle tail that I ran across. You know, after fishing with my buddy Chris down south, he kind of turned me on to the effectiveness of having a properly balanced swim bait that falls very neutral and uh, having one with a good action on the tail. So we're going to try it this morning, see what we can produce with it, and just enjoy a beautiful Sunday on the water. So wish us luck. And throw some uh, mullet procure inside of these little grooves it's got it's nice and help hold that procure in there a little bit just trying to slow steady retrieve because the paddle on this thing the, the tail of it's just got a really good action holy shit. there we go man on cue on the camera yeah i believe i actually like it because it seems to work <laughs> Nice little trout. Hey, a nice start to the day. Had them hooked pretty too. There you go, see? Got them on the uh, paddle tail. Thank you, buddy. Who would think that a freshwater bait would work? I guess it's all about the action. The same as it's dropping, that tail's just wagging. Even as it's just dropping, it's like tick, 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 going down. So this cove here starts off shallow. It's probably about 10 foot or so in the middle. Pretty much just letting these fall. And I'm just kind of slow swimming it. Kind of almost trying to simulate like trolling it using 10 pound braid, 10 pound floor leader. I think this is a eighth ounce. We call these hooks again, man. E EWGs or something. Yeah, EWGs. Evaluated EWGs. Yeah, he would know. He works at the tackle shop. So, with these baits weighted the way we have them, pretty much simulates like a mirror lure. Falls a little bit quicker naturally, but it's very neutral when it drops. And it also, the tail is basically wagging on the way down as well. My buddy Chris, he's a big believer in them. Tell you what, he did well down there. He actually took third place in the new sport shops big trout tourney down there so man knows what he's doing oh so man got one. Oh, they work hell yeah need a net see that's a good what 18 inch or probably 18 19 yeah, you caught a trout in a while so she's a good trout <laughs> awesome man right in the fall thank you for the lure yeah no problem no problem nope oh, got one too doubled up Mine's a baby. They work. Barely got them. Look at that little guy. <laughs> Trout shamed me, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Nice, brother. Heck yeah, heck yeah. That was a good start to the day. Good thing about these setups too, folks, is they're weedless. So you're pretty resistant against getting snagged on stuff. Which ain't too big of a deal in this body of water. Where I was fishing couple weekends ago it definitely counts oh y'all a little technique is working he's got him a nice one here heck yeah bro that is nice right Thank there you. quality 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 here's that falls there for a moment well, that's a good thing like i said that bait it just swims right on down even when you stop it it's still going doing work down there Nah, 
Oh, there's a little guy. That was a subtle bite. Yep, there goes my hand again, ice cold. Just to show you guys, this is pretty much what we're using right here this morning. Sparkly power bait, fresh water. It says use it on a jig head, but it's working well on these EWGs. And the bite in our little cove here is pretty much shut off. We were getting hits on the retrieve and also on the drop. We didn't do bad. We came up here and caught what, six or seven? Something like that. How big was that big one you got? It was about 20. Did you measure them? I didn't measure them. I'll give them 18 to 20. Got gotcha. you. they're not a bad fish. Heck no. All right, hey folks, thanks for joining us on the water of this particular trip. And the biggest thing that I want you to take away from this video is to never discredit what you may see or hear when you're out on the water. Listen to the people around you and everything they say because you will be amazed the things that you learned. That's the biggest trick that I've learned to fish in. This particular day when we got to this cove, Reed, he was throwing finesse lures, mirror lures, soft plastics and he wasn't getting a single bite and then at the same time i was throwing this particular rig and was getting hit after hit which eventually turned into fish so being a good friend i offered him the same setup and as soon as he tried it he started catching fish as well so once again folks keep an open mind and thanks for joining us peace out i'll see you in the next video